you have requested a tutorial on how to do the braids that I did in my NYX video review the NYX review video so this is a hairstyle that is probably the easiest thing in the whole world and it's one of those things that you don't realize how easy it is until you actually just do it when I first started looking into it it looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is. Uh, I looked up a picture tutorial online and then by the end of it I was pretty much like what you're gonna need? Some hair, a hairbrush, buttload of bobby pins, and an elastic or two. Maybe. So first you're gonna part your hair down the middle. So normally when you braid your hair, you would kind of let the braid sit here, like behind your ears. So what you're going to want to do this time is kind of bring the hair up towards your face. And don't worry about this being neat because it don't have to be. So basically you're going to want to start your braid around here. So it's kind of in front of your ear a little bit. I will be amazed if my braid actually comes out okay on the first try. Because if I know my hair, once I hit the record button on a camera, it immediately is just like... Ah. You're going to want to try to get the ends as closed as possible. I know that if you were to do a regular braid, you kind of wouldn't give a heck. But these babies have a possibility of sticking out so and this part is up to you I like to while I'm working on the other one close this with a hair elastic you could start pinning it to your head but I will show you why I don't do that so if you were to start and just pin it that kind of gives you less area to work with on the other side so I kind of just like to let it um, flop. Also, I know my hair is about 57 shades of red. <laughs> kind of look like Haley Williams circa the Crush 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 music video. If anyone asks, that's what I was going for. Okay, so now that two sides are done and you're looking like a cocker spaniel, I'm just going to take the side that I just finished you are just going to pin the end just basically for now and then you're going to take the other side that you did and you're going to kind of put it in front of the end the other end so that it's hiding and then what you're going to do with these ends is you guessed it stick it underneath the start of the other braid and then pin the ever-living shit out of them. Honestly, the more bobby pins, the better. At least in my experience. Because there's nothing worse than feeling like your braids are just bopping about your scalp the whole day. So. Do a little shake test to see where it's loose. And what I like to do, so I don't look bald, is kind of pull out these little stragglers so that I at least have some hair to frame my circle face. That is it. Super, super simple. It is great for when your hair is just not having it with any other style or is super greasy, or no amount of dry shampoo could ever salvage it. It's also a very quick vintage style if you don't have the time to curl it or do fancy little rolls or something. 
<laughs> all right, that's, that's it. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope this was helpful and let me know if you end up trying it. Tag me on social media if you want or don't. I don't okay, um, I love you guys, all of you, whether you're new or old to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!